Kerr at Mitchell International Airport. Our Suzanne Spencer is live in West Dallas tonight with how his family used their voices to reach him today. Suzanne? Mary, many of these families cannot see their loved ones inside of hospitals, but can hear them. The Govan family from West Dallas simply asked this hospital, can we pray outside? The hospital agreed and said you must maintain your social distance and keep those individual families together. There are two things that Shamika Govan has never forgotten that brought her to her husband, Taran, more than 20 years ago. His face, I'm a singer, he's a musician, um, so we connected. Her faith and her voice brought her to this West Dallas hospital without her husband physically by her side. I just believe it's our faith and prayer that's been getting us through this. Taran's last day at Mitchell Airport was March 26. He was working at his normal spot for interflight parking. Days later, that changed with a positive COVID-19 test. I brought him into the ER and he's been here ever since. While she can't be in his room, she stands beneath it, using her voice to reach him. Me being here present on the hospital's property, I feel like he will feel my presence. Their voices will not be masked. That keeps me going. Prayer. Lord, you can do it. Neither will their prayers. Help us right now, oh God. I believe he's going to be a miracle. I believe he will walk out of this hospital. And I believe once he walk out, he will be stronger. The very thing that brought Shamika and Taran together will be exactly what gets them through. And Govan is still in the ICU on a ventilator at this hour inside of this West Dallas hospital. The family shares with us that while he was not able to actually look out of his window because of the situation uh, under that he is undergoing at this time, the staff was able to set up an iPad so that he could actually see and hear what was going on outside of his window, undoubtedly just feeling the presence of what was just outside his window. Reporting live in West Dallas, Suzanne Spencer, Fox 6 News. Oh, certainly hope he did. All right, Suzanne, thank you. A third nun at a memory care facility is